Okay, let's work on another lab. It's so called the uh, um, working with user data. Come on, let's run it. We working with user data, uh, and just click on this one. You will got the prop window, and just and then you need to click on modules, and the lab exercise here. Once you load the lab exercise, you remember you to see the screen, the terminal here. Just click it and remove it. Come on, more or more, we have a module. The first link, then you just need to make sure a proper change the lab to terminal, lah. And now you need to click on the start lab. Ah, okay, start it, and then wait for the um, wait for the arc infrastructure prepare for you. Is this is the network and firewall we will set up behind the scenes. Come on, guys, you put key, you will enjoy. Will bring the VPC and do this for the server. What kind of thing? Um, and the background is that uh, when you create a easy to instance, uh, it, it means you want a virtual server in AWS. You need to um, yeah. Sometimes you want to you want the server to run a startup script. Uh, the script will be enable something, install something, update something, or set up the configurations. And this is so called user data. And this is, this lab exercise is try to let you try about different way to uh train it or utilize the user data or let it be run how to do it. Come on, guys. This lab exercise, you do is a. 即係你就開 VM， 你其實好正常。你開機，你一定會 set 啲嘢，好正常。上下更新啊，裝軟件啊 ，download 啲 file 落嚟啊 ，deploy 你嘅 application 啊。咁其實嗰啲就要行 script 嘅啦 ，automate 嘅。咁傳統啊，其實傳統方法就會用 user data。咁 user data 就係有段 script 擺喺度，開機就會行啦。咁但係其實如果你話現代啲嘅，其實我哋通常用 system manager 去做。And this is the background. But for the uh latest uh A latest skill set of using AWS in general, you can you may use user data to boot up something. But in general, if you want to install or update something, we are prefer to use a uh, system manager to to handle the EC2 instance fit. Uh, so that many instances can manage together instead of using user data one by one. Come on. 咁啊，等一等，其实我哋拨机先啦。咁而家要 Let's wait for a moment so that the the lab start is ready. Is not yet ready now. Need to wait for it. Okay. Um, the lab creation is ready. We can start the lab. Um, 咁啊搞掂啦。Um, click on AWS. 咁啊揿 AWS 啦。Um, you will log in your AWS console and just drag it from here. Okay. Uh, we go to EC2. Oh, 咁我哋去个 EC2 咯。Just search here. EC2. Um. Okay. Um, it one is it a it has a one instance for you to to working on this exercise, and it is already in one link stage, and just click on the Redis e server. 啊，咁我哋咧就冇開部機開緊啦，咁你 click click 佢，咁我哋咧就連入去，咁我哋用啲新啲嘅方法就唔使 key。We will connect the server with the uh just directly through it with console. Uh, just click on here. And then there's a multiple way to connect your server. You traditional way you use SSH, but now you can use instance connect to handle it. If there is an IAM permission here, 咁我哋咧其實有好多種方法連部機嘅，即係其實傳統就係呢個 SSH 啦。咁但係其實唔係好唔係好 suggest 嘅，如果你就即係即係你你哋就喺個 cloud 度做，咁你可 login 個 console 你想連啊，咁其實可以用 session manager 或者用用 EC EC to instance connect. But for this time, you use EC to instance connect. And just follow it, and choose correct, and then instant correct, and then just take the default one will be okay. 咁啊用預設嗰個就 OK。咁我哋唔會用啲咩 VPC endpoint 嗰啲啦。OK, correct. Just the default one. It will show you the console. Okay, we have done the task one, and now we want to um connect and try cancel if you return to the. The window tab, you just know about. You can connect it, and action. Okay. Um. 咁啊，其实佢搞掂之后咧，佢就话：，诶，你可以诶 ，just cancel it. Um, you choose the corner console, choose the face and cancel it. Um. Okay. Here, maybe the full screen here, and you see there's a terminal here. You we will use this later, but we just told you that. Uh, told you to cancel. How to cancel? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, connect to instance page. Choose cancel. Here, connect to instance. Connect, 
and cancel is it's supposed to nothing to hear but it's supposed to connect it is doesn't no matter 咁啊連咗都冇乜所謂嘅，即係我唔係好明佢咩 cancel， 因為連到就 OK。嗱 ，now we will take the action is the instance settings to edit the user data。咁我哋咧就改個 user data。OK， click on the instance and then 啊、uh, actions。You can add another screen here and instance settings. 咁喺度揾啦 action instance setting 揀咗部機 instance settings 啦 edit 嗰個 user data edit user data 咁啊改 user data. Um, okay, and you see it says the user data supposed to dim that here and take on cancel. Okay, take cancel. You just cancel it. Hmm, and return to the connection tab here. Use use need since this is the user data the logic is you will only one single time at the begin at the start up just once. 咁其實 user data 咧傳統嗰個模式就係你開咗機之後行一次佢就唔行噶啦。咁誒咁其實咧佢冇行完，其實佢有有有啲嘢嘅喺個 log 喺裏面類似。咁其實我哋就睇下佢咁樣改翻佢定行。咁 we should follow the step so that it will able to modify. Just catch for the a a a log here. Control Shift V. OK， Control Shift V， 咁你吸咗佢 Control Shift V， 你就可以貼啊。OK， you just this is your user data。OK， you see this is just the same setting here， you just setting here and just user data。咁咪一樣嘅，你見到其實頭先我哋 add the user data， this is the user data， this is the same exactly。咁啊一樣同一樣，你 review 到佢。咁咧我哋就。Uh, you can also check the log after the user data running. This is yam update. It means to update the server. 咁我哋其實 update 個 server， 咁又睇翻 log 啦。咁啊，好多時 debug 都要睇呢個 log 嘅。Always you、uh, always you review this log. In behind the scene is that this is using some a、uh, one of the open source tools called as cow in it. Okay, as uh, uh, not just for AWS in other cow render or even the VMware, you you can also use cow in it to to handle the user boot up the the, the VM boot up. And one some script. 咁其實呢啲唔係啲 AWS 嘢嚟嘅，周圍都有嘅。因為呢個 open source 嘢嚟，咁啊其實靠現啲 open source 嘢。咁好多時你見有乜問題就睇 log 咯。Control Shift V。And then you you just uh it's successfully to run the YAML update here. And just this is just so the skill to um just so the skill to uh to debug the if something if something wrong you you can review here. Okay. And now we want to We run the data script, and we just you do not just need to remove the script and then we start the server. 咁其實咧，我哋就要抌咗呢一個 config user script， 跟住咧，其實再開佢就會再 run 多次。And now you can you need to copy this one and then stop the server edit edit the user. Control Shift V. 咁啊 ，Control Shift V 貼咗佢。咁呢個 remove 嚟 ，remove it means you remove this file or path something. It's a it's a it's a little bit file and Now you go to the go back to your Redis server, so stop it, stop the. 咁啊，熄咗部機啊，停咗停機啊，唔係曬機啊，唔 not terminate, it just stop it. Take the actions. 啊 ，sorry, and action instance state. Stop the instance. 咁啊，撳緊 instance state， 熄咗部機先，因為你你你要再 run， 你要熄咗再行嘅。Just stop it, and it should take a few minutes normally. It just shut down the server gradually, and you will see this screen will will hang up next. 咁呢個 screen 會 hold 咗嘅 ，hang 咗機嘅啦。咁啊，但係熄機通常都係叫温柔熄機，會做少少即係即係正常啲，唔係熄個電嗰種。好，咁啊，所以要等一陣間。So you can just refresh here, and you suppose to check to see the state become stopped later. And stopping is not yet stopped, and just wait for a few minutes, say two minutes. I I stop the video here. Okay, the server has stopped, and we can now try to add the user data and let it be run next time. Or go to the actions instance setting. 咁啊，咁样 instance setting 熄咗机啦，咁你可以 add the user data 啦。因为头先你 add 唔到，你开紧机 ，add 咗都冇用啊嘛，佢唔会 run。So you stop the server. You can add it now and modify the user data as as a test. Just uh, or, or upload a file you like as you like. Or we can add. This like this line, this two those two line after it, we will install the Redis, uh, server in um in this Amazon Linux. This is the、uh, user data we we need it, and then just save it. Ah, 咁啊其實冇喎，你你想去 boot 機再行喎，但係你記住你你唔鏟咗頭先嗰個 file 咯，佢唔會再行嘅。If you don't delete this one, the user data will not run again. Um, 
。咁我哋產咗再温啦，要 save it。And in general, you can um you can you pay six is four, but now is raw script, so don't take it, don't check this check box, check box. 咁啊，其實咧，你有時用 X 六十四 encrypt 咗啲嘢掟落去，咁但係都唔使嘅，而家徒手抌個 script 落去啫嘛。咁啊 ，save it。And then we restart the server again. Start the server. Instant stay. Start. Okay. 咁啊，揀咗部機，再撳開機。Then you need to wait for a moment. So and then you log into the connect to the server again. You this one already done. So close close it. 咁其實嗰個死咗㗎。咁你你你而家等佢撥機啦。Make sure it become the warning state. We will continue um the next exercise. Just stop here. Okay, the server here is running again. Oh, now we make sure the the status. Instant state is running, and then the health status here. You need to check the monitoring. I don't know. Just uh, just make sure the the status here is running, and healthy check, instant check, or pass. So uh, the server is okay now. Oh, now correct, connect it. Click on the connect, and then once again, just using the EC two instance connect. Um, but then it's not already working in in the in the lab environment since it sub have some IAM permission. But this lab they provide us the permission so that we can use it. Otherwise, you need to use the classical way. 咁啊，唔系成日啲 lab 都用得到呢个嘅。咁啊，今今次即系佢俾咗 permission 我哋用得啊。Go again. Now we want to check about the where this server is is running. Is this installed? Sorry, is this installed? So you run it. Okay, we just try to start it. Control Shift V. Go Control Shift V. Tip go it. Come on, just start to go Reddit server. We start the Reddit server, and then you see the output is that all the Reddit server is running, and then we use the Reddit CLI to call it to 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 try it. Don't worry about it. Reddit is just more like it's a database, but this is a memory the cache for it's cache database. You can say for caching, and just the CLI is just a tool for you to try it. Come on, guys. I'm not being here. Reddit is just like a like a. 即係 cache 嘅 data cache 嘅 server 啦嘅服務，咁其實你當 database 睇得，不過就攞嚟重 data 擺 RAM 就好快咯。咁呢個 CLI 只係個 tool 所謂話 ，you lock you can lock in even you you have already able to connect。You cannot connect Redis because of do 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 refuses。Um OK you can't connect the reason you can't because you are it's not running it's just installed but not not running so it's, it has a problem。OK。Just try that it can't connect. Okay, the server is not running. The server is just installed. Come on, the server is just installed. But it's not running. Okay, so you can see it's just installed, but it's not running. Now we want to live update the command of user data. Again, just try to nano this. Uh, this user data is the boot up script. Okay, Control Shift V, nano. And this is our script here, and then we run you to edit it. Just take it down. Come on, we update it. Come on, come on. Hard drive, delete file. Hard drive. And one more line, one more script. You need to edit. Control copy. Control shift V. Ah, control C. Get control shift V. Then you add one more, one more command. It's sudo. The register server started, and then use the config file. One at the only in the background. The last. Last emphasis is it's been run in the background. Then you rerun the script. It's supposed to be able to, uh, start the Reddit server every time it, it boot up. Maybe it's not a problem. Just 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 the first time it should boot up. You run it. But in general, it should set up a service. 咁其實依度咁執咧，其實就理論上就開一開佢咁。但係其實誒應該要 install as a service 喺 background 度行，因為你每一次有電你都想佢行啊嘛。咁所以其實呢個真係做實驗嘅啫。This is for experimental implementation. Otherwise, you should set up a service behind the scenes. And just exit the editor. You just control X. And then yes. And it should save it. File has a right. It to write and do the enter to confirm it. You, you have updated it. Oh, to double check it, you may ah now you to run it. But but if you want, you can just up and then do 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 catch it, catch it. Ah, this permission denied. Need you need sudo. I'm a sudo cat. I cat go try it. Ah, you see the update has successful. Just make sure you you edit is complete and safe. Ah, I'm a just solution done. Now we run it. It's just straightforward. Just run your script like normal Linux script. Just Linux script is sudo. Make sure your script hang. This this script is it. You run it. Then you will touch it. Control Shift V. Oh, sorry. Just a wrong button. And Control 
ship v yeah it we run uh, the whole script update install this run install this one and then at the last step it will it will run the Reddit server at the behind the scenes but it will be very fast since it's just you have update before and it's already done and run at the run in the background okay now we can we can we can verify the CLI again. Come on, let's see those here CLI. Okay, this is already running. After running, use the data pass enter to stop it. You press the enter here. Come on, come down enter the thing. Okay, and control shift V. You see that the error message is gone. You have you are able to connect into your Redis uh, server now. Come on, guys. Lean those in. I'm put fun job. Come on, you can try the some command in where this scan zero is is the cache key here. Yeah, this is nothing here, and this is the output. Come on, see those. See what I mean? Where this is a strong yeah. Okay, you have done the user data lab exercise, and we can stop the lab here. But in for bad 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 cases, come on, just run that. You know, out already lost out your console, and then end the lab. Okay, finish.